What's cracking, guys? It's Bruce Matson, your host of the show. As you all know, it was Rashad Bateman's debut last Sunday against the Chargers. The most beautiful four catches for 29 yards you could possibly see. We've been waiting for this all season, all off season. It finally happened, and it's a good stone to build off of. It was a fun outing he had. He was used heavily in the offense, running a lot of routes. But I'm here to go over the tape, go over those catches, just so we can see what we can see from Rashad Bateman. All right, here's the first play here. Bateman's at the bottom of our screen here. He's off ball. He's got a lot of cushion in front of him with a DB ahead of him, probably about five, six yards or so. We're going to go ahead and run the snap here. Bam, and you see him selling deep off the rip, right here, right off the go, right off the snap, selling deep, head down, shoulders down, moving up, and then right here, drops the hips, skirt, runs that little curl route, flips those hips over, earns the target, look, no one's around him at all, easy pitch and catch, DB closes in on him, tries to make something happen, Gets a little yak for you. Not bad. So what we notice here is selling the head, selling the route here off the release, head down, shoulders down, pretending he's going to go deep, trying to sell to 26. 26 isn't looking at him, though. He's looking inside, just making sure it's not going to be a handoff. And after that, he breaks it down, earns the target, bam. Easy pitch and catch from Lamar to Rashad Bateman. We're going to be seeing that a lot this year. Here we are with the next play. Rashad Bateman's at the top of your screen. He's at the top on the trip set. He's on, he's back there, that top player. Off ball. We're going to go ahead and run this baby. So here comes a snap. Again, gets off his release quick. <clears throat> and goes off where it needs to go. He's headed there. No playing around with a sell, really just selling deep, really, or just being assertive to where it needs to go. Breaks off his route. You can see the plant step. Pre pretty decent break there. Pretty fluid. Rounds it, but doesn't matter. As I tell you, if you got space, you got plenty of separation, doesn't matter. Just round it out, getting your speed out as quick as possible. Speed in and out of that break is what matters. When you have it, you got it. And that's what we got here. An easy pitch and catch for Rashad Bateman. They're giving him all kinds of cushion on these plays. Last play, there was a lot of cushion. This play, a lot of cushion. Nobody really on top of him, breathing down his neck. Just really easy pitch and catch plays right now for Bait. Same play, same route, different angle. So here's his release. Really trying to sell that he's going to go deep. Or, or he's just being really assertive, but really dropping the head there, dropping the shoulders, getting to a spot is his main concern. Eyes are upfield, looking through the sole of that DB who's like five, six yards away from him, and he's really going to take advantage of the space. I like the plant step here, pretty good. Flips them hips, and lots of space. I'm not worried about this drift. If anything, his main focus is to get through that speed cut as fast as possible to get that target. That's what he does here. And earns it. Bam. Right there. Catches it. Look at that catch real quick. Right to the hands. Not into his body at all. Bam. Hand, eyes on the ball. Looking upfield. Gets tackled. Just an easy pitch and catch play from Lamar to Bateman. On this play, Bateman's at the bottom of your screen. From what we see, no one's on top of him, but they've been playing off a lot in this game. They've been giving them a lot of cushion, so I wouldn't be surprised if you checked all 22 that there's another DB back there shadowing him. I guarantee there is, but as for what we see, that's not the case. Marquise Brown's going in motion. Here's the play ran, and here he's getting to a spot off the release. He is very assertive off the line on all three of these routes. This play is also very assertive. He's getting to a spot in the zone, breaks it down, finds it, earns the target, makes the catch. Nothing really to note here. Just basic pitch and catch. Very fundamental, very fluid. 
getting to his spot, finding the hole in the zone, making the catch and getting upfield or trying to get upfield before he gets tackled. And what I like to see, what I like from him that I saw from this play and last play, catches the ball, turns up quick, looking to make that turn. Of course, he's getting swarmed on because those guys have been waiting there before the snap even started. But finds that hole, earns the target, makes the play. On this play, Bateman's at the top of your screen. He actually has a DB on top of him this time. Heads up. So this is going to be interesting to see how he maneuvers this. So we're going to go ahead and run this. Off the line scrimmage. Does a little foot fire action. Trying to get in the head of the DB. He knows, he knows he's going to be dealing with some press. So he's not selling whether he's going right or left. He's just trying to play the midline here. Hands off. Works through the press here pretty pretty good. DB tries to ride with them, but they're in zone. He finds the hole in the zone. Gets the targets right there. Right there. Just sits in there. Gets the target. Good pass by Lamar because that, that was almost picked off. Almost, but no cigar. Makes the grab. Gets up field. So just a easy pitch and catch again. Close call, though. Very close call from Elise getting deflected. Makes the grab, gets up field. And nothing really out of the ordinary here. It wasn't like he went gangbusters. Four catches for 29 yards. But what we're seeing is a very fundamental wide receiver. He is very assertive. I love assertiveness out of wide receivers. I love wide receivers who wants to get off the line of scrimmage, who wants to get to their spot and make something happen. We, we saw that today with Rashad Bateman from a college tape. You know he'd be pretty damn nuanced. So as he starts getting his feet wet, we're going to see more and more and more of what he can do. And I guarantee you, he is a pretty nuanced player. He can pretty much run the full route tree. And it's going to be incredible to see how he marinates with Lamar Jackson. It wasn't a perfect outing. He was a reason for one of the interceptions um, on that game. And uh, it wasn't perfect, but Harbaugh came back saying he didn't realize that Bateman was earning so many snaps because he was playing so good, damn good. He's playing so well. But, uh, yeah, Bateman had a good outing his first time. I mean, he didn't go off for 150 yards. He didn't do that, but I wasn't expecting that either. I was expecting him to get a few catches, make a few plays, have a presence out there. But overall, this is what should have been the expectation all along but again good game by Rashad Bateman I'm excited for him make sure he's not on the waiver wire on your fantasy leagues especially if you got deeper benches especially if you got a running back or a wide receiver who's just average or just placeholders drop him get Rashad Bateman see if he can go to the moon if not drop Bateman but this is a player that could be a come a Justin Jefferson three weeks from now Three weeks from now, he could be one of the best wide receivers in the league production-wise because he has the talent, draft capitals there. So a guy to look for in fantasy. But I want to thank you for watching the show, sticking with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Every subscription matters. It fuels me to keep putting out this content. fuels me to go over the tape with you guys, help you out with your fantasy teams and everything else. Again, I want to thank you, and I'll catch you next time.